All right, so in this video, we're gonna learn about a little photography technique called multiplicity. And that photography technique is where basically we're gonna take multiple pictures of either a person like myself or an object moving around the frame. And then we're gonna combine all of them later on the computer. And basically what it looks like is like uh, there's a t like clones or copies of the same person just in different positions around the picture. So I have a playground structure behind me and I'm just going to be walking all around it and you're going to see me in different different um, positions on the playground structure and uh, my camera is set on manual mode so that each exposure is the same in terms of aperture shutter speed and ISO and I've also set my focusing on manual uh, and it's a bright sunny day so we shouldn't have too much problems so I'm just going to get right into it um, in order to take all the pictures, you can use a remote control. You can use a friend to help you push the, down the button. <laughs> or uh, you can do what I'm doing, which is I'm going to put my camera on the interval meter. Most higher end cameras have this feature. Some lower end cameras don't though. It's basically, it's just going to take a picture every five seconds automatically without me touching it. So that's just going to make things easy. So. Here we go, I'm gonna do it right now. Ah. Okay, so as you can see, I was in uh, multiple positions and uh, it takes a little creativity to figure out how you want the people interacting with each other. But the more you do it, the more it gets more fun. And I, I like really, I like doing this with objects as well. So for instance, I could take my camera on a tripod right now and take a picture of my camera with another camera and just move the camera around this landscape and I could multi I could duplicate the camera like 20,000 times if I wanted to. So it looks like I have 20,000 cameras, but really I only have one. So that's that trick. Let's go on the computer and let's um, combine them. All right, so we are in Photoshop CS5 right now. You can do this with Photoshop CS2, CS3, CS4. Um, but what I'm going to do to load all the pictures up is I'm going to click File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. Now, you may have an older photo Photoshop version, and if that's the case, you're just going to have to drag and drop each photo into Photoshop as a new layer. So we're going to select files here. I'm going to click browse and we are going to find the folder uh, that I took the pictures in. So they're still on my card right now and the files started at 1171 1171 right there. That was the first picture. And then we took like 50 of them. So I ended at 1224. 1224. Right there. I'm going to hold down shift and click that and then it just selected all of them at the same time. So I'm going to click OK. Now it's going to load up all those images right here. And now if you have a few images, I would select attempt to automatically align source images, even if your camera was on a tripod, because usually this fixes just little tiny minor errors or bumps that your, your camera might have had when it was taking a few pictures. But in this case, I have 50 pictures here, and I that's, gonna, that's just going to take way too long if I check that off. So I'm going to leave that off. And I'm also going to leave this unchecked as too. So I'll click OK, and now we just got to wait a long time until it loads the 50 pictures that we took. So you'll see that it'll do this for a while until it has all of them loaded. 
So don't click anything, just wait and you'll be fine. All right, here we go. There's the very first picture that I took, and you can see here I am. This picture did come out a little bit bright, but I'm just going to fix that later. And I'm just going to work on uh, making the duplicates right now. So here we go. <laughs> we're going to start from the top here, and we're going to create a new layer on the very top layer. Now you can see we got tons of pictures we're going to have to do this with, so this is going to take a while. So I'm going to show you how to do it. 